is risen and the people are gathered and our, our faith in humanity is reignited and re-inspired. And all over the whole world people are dancing like this in the name of Mother Earth. And I feel so joyful to be with you all today and to reaffirm the sanctity of Mother Earth with you all today and reaffirm uh, the fact that short-term profit is not worth long-term damage to our So today we're standing up for our children. And I'm a young person and I, I apologize because I know the elders are supposed to speak before the young people, but I had a proposition and that is um, they won't let us in there with drums. But I was thinking we could go in there without drums and sing without drums and do a round dance in the roundhouse before we go. But I didn't know how you all felt about that.
Canadian friends for Idol No More because without them, we wouldn't be across the country, across the world. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. I apologize for not introducing myself before. Uh, my mother named me uh, Pat McCabe, but uh, I was also given another name, Yokpadashiwi, Woman's Ten Shining. So I want to use that name here on this day. Um, I also wanted to say I appreciate uh, my sister here uh, acknowledging our, our relatives from all the way up from Canada and uh, for what they <coughs> what they inspired for indigenous peoples. But I also want to say that uh, all the indigenous peoples extend all the way up from Canada down through here, all the way down south all the way down through Mexico, Central America, South America, and our relatives are thinking about us over there as well. And I wanted to um, sing another song, uh, even though I know we're kind of moving here, but because she brought that up, I want to acknowledge those kinship routes that are very ancient, that have continued for, you don't even know how long, all the way from the tip of South America, all the way up through the north. And uh, I've been told that those kinship routes are the way that we used to maintain the health of our part of this Mother Earth. So I want to acknowledge those, those relationships, spiritual relationships that we have had, that we continue to have. There was a, uh, some beautiful grandmother and her son from the rainforest who came up north here one time, over here, over by Nambe Pueblo, and he taught us a song. And he said it was a prophecy song from their people. And that prophecy song was talking about the day in which everything on Mother Earth, all the relatives, all the human beings, and all the relatives would be living in balance and harmony. And so he really wanted to bring that song to us up here. So I'm going to remember him and remember our relatives who are thinking about us and thinking about this way also. And they're fighting also to to keep their their homelands, not for themselves, also for themselves, also for their children, their way, their culture, their language, but really they're trying to protect the lungs of the Mother Earth down there. So they're thinking about us, and I want to tell them we're thinking about them. So this is the song that he taught. <clears throat> Eje 